Hi, and welcome to LB0 Fox India Norwegian Adventures. I'm Morton, LB0 Fox India, and I'm out doing a Parks on the Air activation, or more correctly, I'm out giving the Pac-12 antenna another go, the JPC-12 antenna another go, because I got a lot of comments in my last video on this antenna that I was doing something wrong, that I didn't read right, that the antenna is actually really good, so I'm gonna give this a go. And in order to do this as simply as possible, I'm gonna try out FT8 on as many bands as possible. And I will be doing the activation in my car because there is some, some rain showers coming. So we'll see how this goes. It's not gonna be pleasant going out and tuning the antenna if we get a lot of showers. But um, that's the way I'm gonna do it. Let's take a look at the kit first. And what I got here in the car ready to go is the antenna itself here, the JPC-12. Got a couple of lengths of coax. My common mode choke, I got a video on that if you haven't seen that. I got my X6100 kit. I got a video on that as well. Also the amplifier uh, tuner kit there. I'm not going to use the tuner, but I'm going to use the amplifier. I got a 5 amp hour life before battery and uh, I got my nano VNA and that's what I'm going to use today. So let's get the antenna set up. Okay, first band out is 40. Um, antenna tuned pretty easy on 40. Um, must have done something wrong, or at least I can say now on the first band that I must have done something wrong the last time. Let's go ahead, uh, set up FT8, set up a POTA log, and uh, start calling, and we'll see what happens um, on 40. And then we'll try every band up, uh, or at least every band that I can manage to tune. So hopefully 40, 30, 20, 17, 15, 12, 10, and 6. That's 8 bands. So we'll see what happens. First out, 40 meters. And we're on calling uh, CQ on 40. Everything works. That's good. And we got someone coming back to me. Okay, conditions on 40 weren't great, but that doesn't really matter. Uh, the antenna performed excellent, and uh, I managed three in the log on 40. So let's uh, see if we can get the antenna tuned for 30 and uh, see what we can get there. And retuning the antenna for 30 went like a charm. It took me about two minutes to get it tuned. So as I said in the beginning, this far it looks like I did something wrong the last time. So let's do some CQs on 30 and I'll be back once I'm done with those. And that was eight connects on 30. Uh, let's get it tuned for 20 and uh, see if 20 is any better. And I didn't even have to tune it for 20 because when I hooked the VNA up, uh, it seemed like for the 30 meter dip, it still had a pretty good dip on 20. Actually, 1.28 on uh, 20, so we're good with that. Let's um, see if we can do anything FT8, FT4 on 20 and keep going. 20 was definitely the worst performing band as of now, but I think that's the band conditions. I've been monitoring 20 at home and 20 been 20 has been almost dead today let's get it up on 17 and see what we can get there okay I might have been a bit prematurely optimistic um, what it looks like though is that the antenna is easy to tune on 40 30 and 20 can get a tune on 17 15 12 or 10 but I got a tune on 6 doesn't look like six is open though, but I'm gonna call call CQ a couple of times and then we'll conclude. Was I wrong the last time when I said that this is not a good antenna? That is a, that it is a hassle to tune and it's uh, it's terrible. No, I wasn't. <laughs> Absolutely not. It is a better antenna than I concluded the last time. 
Uh, it is relatively easy to tune on some bands. I had good luck on 40, 30 and 20. Couldn't get a tune on 17, 15, 12 or 10, but got a tune on 6, but 6 was dead. So, well, what do I think? If I take a look at my QSO map today, I managed QSOs pretty much all around Europe in terrible band conditions. And I think band conditions played a part here on what I got and didn't get. So, I'm a little bit hesitant, but this might be an all right antenna. It's not a great antenna. It's not a dipole. It's not an NFET half wave. It's by no means a hex beam or anything like that. But it is an antenna you could use while you're in a compromised environment or a space compromised environment. And I'm pretty sure with a little bit of practice, I might get it to tune on those bands I couldn't get it to tune at. So I'm going to keep playing around with this antenna and see. And then once I get to test the slide winder, I'm going to compare those antennas and then the body stick and see what happens. But it's neither a thumbs up or a thumbs down on this antenna for me. It's like more like a meh on this antenna. But I'm going to play around with it and see what happens. Anyway, that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. A little bit different from me on this video. Uh, if you liked this video or any of my other videos, please hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. I'd really appreciate that. If you want to support the channel, there are a couple of ways down below to do that. And uh, that's it for now. Until next time, guys. 7-3.